Did you expect that kind of workload? No, you know, like I said, you know, we, you know, Belfield wasn't able to go, so he was, you know, he was having to carry the rock all the time. You know, really, the idea is we want to try to keep him around 25 to 28 carries, and having Belfield another maybe 10, or excuse me, 15 to 20 carries. But you know, never did we want him to carry the ball 42 times. But hey, he did it, and I don't know how many how many yards. Uh, you know, that, that's a heck of a night. Now, you should be sore tomorrow. The JV kid you brought up. Yeah. Um, he's got a few carries. Would that help him for, that, for next week, or do you think yeah. Belfield will be back? I'm hoping Belfield will be back, but if not, we've we got a lot of confidence in Biggs. He's going to be our next great tailback after Pittman leaves. Uh, you know, Tony Biggs is he's quick. You know, he's got a you know, he's inexperienced, but getting him in this game tonight, you know, he's able to do some things and he's probably one of our fast he's probably out here, well not probably, he's our fastest back, so uh, he's just a ninth grader. So, you know, he's gonna be our next great tailback, but uh, it was good to get him in tonight and I hope we got Belleville back next week. Coach, what makes Steve so resilient? I don't know, I just I just think the kids learn how to do it, have learned a long time ago how to do it, never say quit. Um, they want to win. Uh, you know, their backs are always to the wall every day, and they're fighters, and every day they got to fight, and this is what they do, and they never give up. And, you know, it's just a, it's just a great thing for the kids. You know, it's just the character of the kids is incredible. Is it part of the culture of I think it's been developed with, uh, you know, Coach D instilling that, uh, oh, you know, when he was here, and I just hope we have been able to keep it going on and carrying it forward. Did you expect this type of game? Yes, yes. Um, yeah, I was hoping it would be a little more low scoring than it was, but uh, I knew it was going to come down to a last possession game and somebody's going to have to either make a play or make a stop, and uh, fortunately in this case we made the stop. What's going through your mind, fourth and goal situation? Lord, give us a stop. <laughs> you know, do something, trip them up, grow a big blade of grass and trip them up, whatever, just to get a stop on them. Got but, a big uh, hit. Yeah, big hit. And, uh, you know, the kids kids do a great job, have done a great job. And, you know, that's the best offense I've seen this year. And, uh, you know, you know, the only other offense I think compares to that is Oscar Smith. You know, I don't I haven't seen any of the guys on the beach, but guys that we've competed against, Oscar Smith is the only other offense I've seen in that that category, that class.